the aroma coming off of this bite. It smells like fried eggs and peanut butter. What's up everyone? It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com. Good morning from Jakarta and our taxi should be arriving soon. Oh yeah, okay, our ride has just arrived. We're on our way to go eat a dish called Ketoprak, which is an Indonesian salad with a peanut dressing. And we're jumping in the car right now. Hello. Do you know um, Ketoprak Chirakil? Yeah. It's a really nice area of Jakarta. It's really lots of trees and a residential area. And that ride took about 30 minutes, I think. The traffic wasn't too good. All right, this is the correct spot. We found it. It's right on the corner of the road just next to the canal. Hello. <laughs> we arrived to Ketoprak Chiragil. I think that's how you say the name. This is a really busy place and lots of people lining up to eat the ketoprak here. It was a little confusing to get in line and try to order. I don't know if they, I don't think they have any kind of queuing system. So you just kind of gotta work your way to the front of the line and then put your order in with the guy who is making it. Uh, but they're all really nice and friendly here. They have a number of different seating options. A lot of people get it for takeaway, but then they also have in your car service. So I see some people pulling up in their cars and just sitting in their cars making their order and then you can eat it in your car and then return your plate. And then they additionally have a couple of tables under here uh, with a number of different seating options. Ying and I got the table right here, the bench table. And then there is another big communal table right in the middle. And then this, this is actually kind of a little miniature food hawker center because the main attraction is the ketoprak, but then they have a number of different food stalls. But I'm going first for the ketoprak. I really love this place. It's really friendly and it's like street food, but it's at the same time, there's a cover and there's a permanent shelter here. And they sell some serious plates of ketoprak. It's only like 10 a.m. in the morning, but they are already buzzing with traffic, people ordering plates, people ordering takeaway for later and there are a lot of motorbike drivers in there getting um, fulfilling people's orders as well and then gonna deliver them back to hungry people. I mostly saw him making two different types, uh, one with a fried egg and another version with a boiled egg. And so when he gave me the choice, I had to go for the fried egg. Fried eggs are unbeatable. And what he did was he chopped up some rice cakes, which I believe are lontong, and they're like compressed rice cakes. They're all on the bottom now. And then he added in some different vegetables, some bean sprouts, I remember, plus a handful of rice noodles. And then after that, he put on a big scoop of peanut sauce. So this is another peanut-based kind of salad mixture in Indonesia. And then after that, the fried egg, that beautiful, crunchy, golden fried egg. It's kind of I thought it was a fried egg, but it looks like an omelet almost because it's so fried and good like that. And then he added on a handful of the crackers and then a drizzle of sweet soy sauce. And then finally to top it off, that mandatory sprinkle of crispy fried shallots on the top. Oh, and that might be garlic as well. Oh man, I don't even know how should I tackle this. I think I'll... I'll try to scoot those chips aside and go in for some of the, oh, have to go for a piece of that fried egg. And you can see all of that creamy peanut sauce on the bottom there. That's wonderful. <laughs> okay, and some of these, oh man, this is kind of a, a tangly dish. You almost just need to like 
bite the entire thing and then just bite off. Okay, I'm gonna go in for this. The aroma coming off of this bite, it smells like fried eggs and peanut butter. <laughs> and it tastes like fried eggs and peanut butter. Oh, that's awesome. Oh yeah, that is crazily good. Oh, and I forgot the main ingredients. He put on a bunch of tofu as well, which was kind of shallow fried, and then he cut it into bite-sized pieces and put it on top of the rice cake. It is a little bit on the sweet side, but it's really nice and peanutty fragrance-wise. And then those noodles are really nice texture. They're a little bit chewy, and then along with that crispy fried egg, that's delicious. Let me go for a piece of tofu next. Tofu and there's a rice cake in this bite, I think, too. Oh yeah, that tofu is nice and spongy. And then the rice cake is really, really smooth. And then just both coated in that same really rich and sweet peanut sauce. Well, those have gotten a little soggy now, but still good and they are the mandatory topping on so many different dishes in Indonesia. Definitely my favorite ingredient in this bowl of food is the fried egg. And then with those noodles. With that egg, it's amazing. And this is really one of those dishes that really mixes the, or contrasts the sweet and savory. It's more on the savory side, but it's definitely quite sweet as well. And then with so many different mixed ingredients in there. Imagine an omelet or an egg with peanut butter all over it, but like a creamy, sweet, and rich peanut sauce all over it, then with noodles. And that's exactly what I just ate. This is a really, really busy, busy place. It is starting to get busier and busier as I sit here. And there's no real queue system, so you just kind of got to work your way in and make your order. They're all really nice and friendly. Great spot. And yeah, that was delicious. Thank you all for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Lots more food videos to come from Jakarta. Make sure you subscribe for more food videos and I'll see you on the next food video.